when you can have that kind of camaraderie with one of your actors on set, it's just great because it builds a level of trust uh, where, you know, it has nothing to do with the work, but just by playing a video game and hanging out together for an hour or two, you kind of bond a little bit and that helps when you get to set. I loved this movie. Oh Aww. my goodness. <laughs> Come on, really? Thank you so oh much. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I love action films. Um, and I mean, I, I love Lucas Till as well. So obviously I was like, oh my God, this is going to be I great. I love Lucas Till as well. <laughs> oh, well, then yeah, well, just to start off, what drew you to the film and made you want to get involved? I got a call from my good friend, Richard Switzer, who's the producer on this movie. And Richard and I have worked together many times and he kind of knows the type of material that I would gravitate towards. So he's like, hey, you got to read this script. It's a really great action movie. And I just love the pacing of the script. And I loved how the movie doesn't bog itself down. You know, a lot of action movies, they try to reinvent the wheel. And you see these, all these subplots that nobody really cares about to the point where you think the movie's over and then there's a whole nother subplot. We got all, all that stuff and pushed it away. There's no love interest. There's no, you know, he's not trying to redeem his father or anything. All the cliche storylines that you see, we wanted to get rid of those. So this is just, this movie's great for people who just want to see a nice, simple story told with some really unique action. Well, you know, I, I really love the opening credit sequence. Um, you know, could you maybe give a little insight into the, the creative process there? I've always loved opening title sequences. To me, ever since I was a little kid, there's something about them. And I think we all do this intrinsically. Like, it gets you ready to watch a movie. You're excited. It sets the tone. Uh, so we wanted to carry that tone out with telling some backstory about what the collective is before you even watch one scene with one actor talking. So like right off the bat, we're seeing all this these odd photographs of people. We're seeing redacted documents and we're seeing all this kind of edgy kind of, uh, you know, material. It's already kind of painting the picture of like, oh, these are uh, some, is this like the men in black? Like what's happening? These guys are into some stuff here. So uh, I love the opening title sequence as well. I was really excited to see it once it gets put together. You know, as a filmmaker, that's one of those things where you know, you put your two cents in, but really it's at, you're at the mercy of the, uh, you know, the, the artists that are putting it together in the post-production process. And man, what, a, what a team we had. And I love what they did with it. Well, I thought that Sam was a very fun character. I mean, he's, he's a rookie, but he's, he's pretty arrogant for a rookie. You know, <laughs> he really does think that he can take all of this on. So what was something that you talked about with Lucas that you really wanted him to bring out here? We wanted to really focus on the fact that we learn in the movie in the beginning of the film that he used to work in the DA's in the DA's office and he's an attorney. Uh, so, like, what are attorneys usually known for? They're usually known for having a, a a silver tongue. You know, they're able to kind of talk themselves through situations and out of problems. And you'll notice in this movie, and that's something that Lucas and I really talked about early on. You'll notice Lucas kind of uses his mouthpiece to get him in and out of a lot of situations in this movie. You know, he uses his personality and, and charm and ability to present a case, if you will, to get the Don Johnson character to kind of be like, oh, there's something, there's something different about this guy, you know? Like, so I think that, you know, it was really about his intelligence. You know, we wanted Sam to be smart. You know, a lot of these action movies, and I'm not taking anything away from any other films, I'm not trying to point any fingers, but, you know, usually the main character that plays the, the guy who's going to go in and kick a lot of ass, they usually don't have that level of depth to their personality. And they don't usually get showcased as having that level of sophistication. Uh, so I think it's cool that, you know, Lucas is a hero with a brain. Well, you mentioned that you love that you loved Lucas. And I know that you've worked. I mean, you've worked in a lot of projects, you know, as an actor as well. So is this the first time that you guys have ever collaborated together? Yes, this is the first time I ever worked with Lucas. And fortunately, uh, we just really hit it off. I mean, we have a lot of the same uh, kind of senses of humor. We both love video games. I get a chance to, you know, Lucas and I get a chance to play a little Call of Duty together. You know, we'd be in the hotel room. Hey, you want to play? Yeah, let's play. We'd go meet up. And so it's cool. When you can uh, when you can have that kind of camaraderie with one of your actors on set, it's just great because it builds a level of trust uh, where you know, it has nothing to do with the work, 
but just by playing a video game and hanging out together for an hour or two, you kind of bond a little bit and that helps when you get to set. I also really loved the the dynamic between Sam and Hugo. I mean, Hugo, obviously, he doesn't doesn't seem like he really wants him there, but he needs him there. <laughs> um, so, you know, how was kind of working with the audiences to form that dynamic? What did you really, how did you want that to come across? I love unlikely pairings. Unlikely pairings, to me, are very fun and exciting. Whether you're talking about you know, a, an odd group that comes together because they're forced to, or just, you know, that was what it was all about for me. Like, and you'll notice we set that up and I mean, there's a scene fairly early in the movie where the Don Johnson character asks Lucas, well, how would you go about this mission? And everything Lucas says, we show Hugo, the Tyrese character doing the exact opposite. So right off the bat, we try to set up the fact that like, these two cats are not remotely alike. However, when they get paired together they suddenly make a pretty damn good team and I, I just i think that's exciting and we really wanted that to come across where it's almost like you know tyrese is almost like the older brother here he's you know like he's been through this stuff before uh and i think it's humbling for lucas too because like you said he's very cocky he's very confident he gets humbled a little bit in this movie and he he learns from the tyrese character so uh, I love that dynamic. Yeah, well, I love that that kind of added a little bit of comedy. You know, you have action as well. But there's also a really serious issue at the heart of this, obviously, the topic of human trafficking. What was important when you were trying to balance all of these elements? Well, I think that when you're dealing with so many issues like human trafficking, I mean, these people are doing some really, really sick things in this movie. And, we, you know, it's kind of sometimes we make light of it. You know, the Paul Ben Victor character is obviously a maniac. But what they're doing is is very dark. Uh, so I think it's important to balance the audience a little bit with some humor so that it's not all one noted and it can't be all down here in this dark place. So I think the comedy provides a little bit of a, a breath of fresh air once in a while. And if you look at it, you know, you go through the history of action movies, you know, all the way back to the days of, you know, Lethal Weapon in the early mid 80s. I mean, those movies have the action, they got the violence, but they'll crack you up, too. I mean, I think that's part of it. You know, I'm a big fan of buffets, you know, obviously after the pandemic era, it's a little sketchy, but I like the idea that, you know, there's a, can be a bit of a buffet in my films where it's like, yeah, the action people will get their action. The people who like to laugh, there's a little bit of comedy um, and, you know, everybody can go home satisfied, hopefully. Well, you also, you mentioned in your director statement that you wanted this to be an authentic action film and, you know, there were fist fights, there were shootouts. How did you work with, you know, the stunt coordinators and the actors to make this realistic, but unique, like you had said that you wanted? Well, I had a great stunt coordinator. Uh, Anthony Wang worked on this movie with me. We worked together a few times and, and I, I just made it clear to him that, like, I don't want this to look like a Marvel movie. I don't want people to be doing 16 hit combinations. And, you know, I, I've unfortunately, uh, you know, in my in a different life. I went out a lot and I'd seen a lot of fights take place in bars and in nightclubs. And the reality is they usually happen really fast. They're not pretty. And a uh, note to non not uh, to the moviegoers who watch movies, usually like one good punch is all it takes to knock a person out. And you watch these movies where it's like they're getting hit 15 times in the face and they're still coming back. That does not happen in real life. Usually one, maybe two clean shots, guys out to sleep. So especially when you're dealing with these are highly trained assassins. So that was something with Tyrese, too. Uh, you know, Tyrese was very adamant about He's like, look, man, I'm not going to be doing spinning back fists and crazy kicks. I'm going to punch a dude in the face and he's going to drop. And I was like, I love that. So we really just wanted the fights to be simple but nasty and like, whoa, violent, you know? Lastly, do you have any other upcoming projects, you know, that you're directing? Anything new for you now that this movie is coming out? I do have a couple of uh, action movies in the works right now. I can't really say too, too much about that. We're still in the development process. Uh, and of course, uh, let's see what happens with this SAG situation. Hopefully things will lift. And uh, I was very close to shooting an action movie right before the whole strike thing happened. So, uh, fans of that genre you can expect to see another one coming from me hopefully sometime soon oh sounds awesome all right well that was all i had for you thank you so much for chatting with me tom again i love so this film i cannot wait all for right. everybody to see that it <laughs>
<laughs> I look forward to checking this out wherever it is. Awesome. Yes, definitely.